question mark drug distribution system or REL medication systems drug distribution systems in the hospital setting should ideally prevent medication errors from occurring when errors do occur the system should facilitate their early detection enabling corrective steps to be taken to prevent their recurrence and to minimize any adverse effects on the patient the drug distribution systems centralized unit dose systems in which unit dose medications are selected and assembled in the pharmacy department for each patient regional differences in the use of centralized unit dose systems the number of respondents reporting the use of automation in a centralized unit dose system was 66 percent in 2005 2006 compared to 75 percent in 2007 2008 among respondents who reported using centralized automated dispensing systems, use a canister type system and 12% use a robotic system. Decentralized automated unit dose systems were reported by 36% of respondents. Question mark Traditional drug distribution systems were reported to be in use for 9,000 or more of beds within the hospital by 13% of all respondents. Figure D1, Table D1. Drug Distribution Systems 2007-208 Bed Size 201 to 500 Teach Non-Teaching 50 to 200 500 Hospitals N equals Centralized Unit Dose 90% F Beds 48% Same Beds 90% 23% Decentralized Automated Unit Dose 90% F Beds Same Beds 90% 35% Traditional, 90% F beds 46%, same beds 33%, total ward stock, 90% F beds 46%, same beds 90%, controlled slash carded dose, 90% F beds, same beds 90%, 23%, one system for oral medication for 90% of beds. Combined data from all respondents indicated that 74% of beds within the hospitals captured by this survey were serviced with either a centralized unit dose system, a decentralized automated unit dose system, or a controlled slash carded dose system, while 26% of beds were serviced with traditional or total ward stock drug distribution systems, figure D2, figure D2. Proporon of beds serviced by each drug distribution system 2007-208 medication order and drain verification. Pharmacists and pharmacy technicians continue to be reported as the categories of personnel who most frequently perform medication order and tree. Table D2. Medication order and tree by pharmacy technicians was reported by 100%. 27% of respondents reported that pharmacists review and authorize medication orders before a pharmacy technician is permitted to enter the order into the pharmacy information system. Verification of medication order and tree confirms that the entry in the pharmacy information system matches the intended medication order. Among respondents who reported that medication orders were entered by pharmacy technicians, 80% reported that technician entered orders were verified only by a pharmacist. 11% reported that either a pharmacist or a second pharmacy technician verified technician entered orders. Question mark Table Medication Order in 2007-208 Bed Size 201 to 500 Teaching Status Teaching Non-Teaching Hospitals N equals 200 Orders entered by pharmacists Verified by 11 equals 110. A second pharmacist only. Either a second pharmacist or a pharmacy technician, a pharmacy technician only. Verification of a pharmacist order entry is not required. Look at the table. Orders entered by technicians 11 equals 166. Pharmacists review and pre authorized medication orders N equals 132. Verified by 11 equals 131. A pharmacist. Either a pharmacist or a second pharmacy technician a second pharmacy technician only. Verification of a pharmacy technician order entry is not required. Look at the table. Orders entered by prescribers through CPOE. 11 equals 166. The table above provides the accurate situation pharmacist review of medication orders for therapeutic appropriateness The absence of a pharmacist's review of all medication orders for therapeutic appropriateness 
prior to administration to the patient should be of concern to pharmacists, other health care providers and the public. 96% of all respondents reported that the pharmacy was closed for a period of hours each day. Question mark Table Pharmacist Review of Medication Orders When the Pharmacy is Open or Closed 2007-208 Bed Size 50-200 Teaching Non-Teaching During hours that the pharmacy is open, a pharmacist medication look at the table medications being dispensed from the central or a satellite pharmacy, 11 equals 165, medications being accessed from automated cabinets and the patient care units, 11 equals 73. Reviews all medications being accessed from ward stock, 11 equals 159. During hours that the pharmacy is closed, a pharmacist medication look at the table. Medications being dispensed from a night cupboard are similar, 11 equals 159. Medications being accessed from automated cabinets on the patient care units, 11 equals 79. Reviews all medications being accessed from ward stock. Medication tickets. Medication profiles and medication administration records Manually prepared medication tickets and medication administration records were once widely used in hospitals as a means of scheduling and managing patients' medication therapy. The use of manually prepared medication tickets or cards for 90% or more of beds in the facility was reported by 4% of all respondents. The manual preparation of medication administration records was reported by 32% of all respondents. Access to a complete medication profile is an important tool for prescribers to have when making decisions concerning drug therapy, and for pharmacists to have when reviewing medication orders. 55% of all respondents reported that prescribers have easy and reliable access to a complete medication profile for all patients when writing medication orders. 77% of all respondents reported that pharmacists have easy and reliable access to a complete medication profile for all patients when reviewing medication orders. Question mark manually prepared medication question mark tickets or question mark cards used yes, far more than equals 90% of beds in the facility. Partial, far less than 90% of beds in the facility. 4% 14257311. Prescribers have access to complete medication profiles, yes. Access to profile for all patients 92 55% 2048 24 18 74. Yes. Dot 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 access to profile for most patients. 50% to the facility. Yes. Dot 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 access to profile for same patients facility 99% and in the 62. 4 12 35. 4. 4% 15 18 3 Pharmacists have access to complete medication profiles yes dot 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 access to profile for all patients 128 70 31 30 98 yes dot 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 access to profile for most patients 50% to the facility yes dot 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 access to profile for some patients facility 99% and in the 35 8 17 10 10 25 Medication administration records are manually prepared 53 15 28 10 15 38 generated in hard through the pharmacy information system. Documentation is manual, electronic, and share a common database with the pharmacy information system. Documentation is online 118 11 23 63 832 24 894 3 Figure D5. Technician validation requirements for performing and checking 2007-208 camp therapy preparation. The fourth admixture asterisk operation, patient specific. Preparation. The fourth admixture operation, batching. Medication order entry. Unit tray filling. Unit packaging. Interdose filling. Extemporaneous. Compounding. Cardiac arrest. Tray filing replenishing. Automated cabinets, traditional prescriptions, traditional prescriptions, refills, percent of respondents. Of the 74 respondents who reported that some of their pharmacy technicians were certified, four did not indicate the percentage of pharmacy technicians that possess certification. Of the remaining 70 respondents, 
23% reported that greater than 900 zero of their pharmacy technician possess certification. 21% reported that 51 to 90% of their pharmacy technicians possess certification. Intravenous admixture services. When parenteral doses of medication are not available in a ready-to-administer form from the manufacturer, the preparation of admixtures by the pharmacy department is the recommended method for ensuring that these parenteral products are therapeutically appropriate, free from microbial-slash-pyrogenic-slash-particulate contaminants, properly prepared and labeled, and stored and distributed in conformance with accepted standards. The percent of respondents reporting the provision of an afforded mixture service has increased from 75% of all respondents in 1999-2000 to 94% in 2005-2006 and 95% in 2007-2008. This upward trend has also occurred for afforded mixture services offered to 90% or more of patients or patient care areas. Figure D6. A comprehensive forward mixture service provided to 90% or more of patients or patient care areas, was reported by 90% of respondents in teaching hospitals, and by 54% of non-teaching hospitals. Table D6. A comprehensive forward mixture service was also more commonly reported by respondents in larger hospitals, 76% of respondents with more than 500 beds, 65% of respondents with 201 to 500 beds, and 43% of respondents with 50 to 200 beds. Question mark figure D6. Percentage of forward mixture service providers 1999-200-2007-208. Base. All respondents providing data. 165. Respondents providing an forward mixture service estimated that an average of 46% of total parenteral. 4. 1M. SQ. Epidural doses administered in their institutions were either prepared through the forward mixture service or provided as commercially available, ready to use admixtures. Table D6. Forward mixture services and averages of reported annual productions 2007 208 bed size teaching status. 50 200 201 500 hospitals. N equals provision of some of the fourth admixture services look at the table provision of four admixture services for 90% or more of patient care areas 104 15 58 31 automated compounding devices used in preparation average the fourth production per acute patient day for facility serving 71 933 82.87.84 57 the respondents reporting the provision of an forward mixture service, 46%, 71 over 156, reported that automated compounding devices were used in the preparation process. The use of this type of technology is more common in teaching hospitals than in non-teaching hospitals and is more common in hospitals with more than 500 beds. Table D6. Question mark 93% of all respondents reported that four cytotoxic drugs were prepared and administered in their facility. Table D7. Among respondents reporting the preparation of four chemotherapy, 95% have written policies and procedures to ensure the health and safety of employees preparing, transporting, administering and disposing of cytotoxic. Among respondents reporting the preparation of four cytotoxic drugs, only 27% reported that there is a medical surveillance program in place for employees who handle cytotoxic drugs. A designated separate chemotherapy preparation area was reported by 83% of respondents who indicated that their pharmacy prepared four cytotoxic doses. Table D7